this is a textured implant. This is also a highly cohesive gel implant. What's up with the texturing? There are really two major reasons why we might want to go with a textured implant. And I say might because I'm not sure that any of these have really completely been um, adequately discussed and where I'm not sure that the science is there to back us up. The first reason is when we have a shaped implant which has a defined shape, and this is what we want, we don't want this because it's a strange look. We do want this. So how do we try to prevent it from moving? By having a, a textured shape so that it incorporates itself into that scar tissue, which is the capsule. So it makes it less likely for the implant to flip. Because as long as the implants are sitting nicely as they're supposed to, it's not a problem. If one implant does this and the other doesn't, we have a real problem. The second reason is more of a theoretic one, and there's a lot of evidence to support one side of the argument versus the other, and that's that the textured implants are said to have less of an incidence of capsular contracture. I know the studies, I think that the studies are very interesting, I think that it leads a lot of questions, but the answers keep changing a little bit. I still feel that in most cases a smooth round implant underneath the muscle gives a wonderful result. In certain situations, I definitely go for the uh, highly cohesive gel textured implants.